planters may be adjusted to plant at many different row widths. It is essential to plant in moist soil at a depth of between 2 and 4 centimeters. When planting too shallow, without any follow-up rain between planting and emergence of the soybeans, the soil will become too dry to ensure good germination and emergence. When planting too deep, heavy downpours of rain between germination and emergence can cause crusting of the soil surface, which can lead to poor emergence. Ordinary maize planters can be used to plant soybeans in rows between 76 and 150 centimeters. Although soybeans should not be planted in rows wider than 91 centimeters, some farmers are equipped with machinery to plant maize in wider rows and therefore use the same machinery to plant both crops. Soybeans are planted here in 91 centimeter rows. One of the advantages of planting in wider rows is that the seeds in each row are close to one another and therefore help each other to emerge, especially when crusting of the soil occurred between planting and emerging. Soybeans are planted here in 150 centimeter rows. One of the advantages of planting in such wide rows is that sclerotinia is less likely to develop because total canopy closure of the rows is rare and thus ideal microclimate conditions under the canopy will not exist to favor the development of this disease. A Bramley type planter that was originally built to plant wheat and other small grains can be used to plant soybeans in rows between 35 to 50 centimeters. Soybeans are planted here in 45 centimeter rows. Farmers must be warned that when planting at lower plant densities, for example 200 to 250,000 plants per hectare, seeds are about 10 centimeters apart in each row, which can cause problems with emergence. Ordinary wheat planters are sometimes used to plant in very narrow rows of 15 to 25 centimeters. Soybeans are planted here with a wheat planter in 18 centimeter rows. Wheat planters do not plant seed at a specific distance from each other, but rather sow the seed continuously. The speed at which planting takes place will influence plant density as well as the evenness of the distance of the seeds from one another. Soybeans planted in narrow 25 centimeter rows form a canopy much quicker than with wider row widths, which can be an advantage in preventing loss of moisture through evaporation. A planting method originating from wheat farmers is where a seed bin is fitted to the tractor or implement and seed is then blown with pressured air to the furrows behind the tines of a tine implement. Any row width is possible and will depend on the spacing of the tines from each other and or if all tines are used for planting furrows. Soybeans planted with a seed bin in 35 centimeter rows. Note the unevenness of spacing between plants which is caused by the vibration of the spring-loaded tine that makes the plant furrow. Some seeds are therefore planted deeper than others which result in gaps between plants. Although not recommended, due to a high percentage of seed damage as well as high plant densities, ordinary lime or fertilizer applicators are sometimes used to broadcast soybean seed on the soil surface before incorporating them into the soil with a tine implement. Soybeans are broadcasted here with a lime applicator and incorporated with a tine implement. Note the unevenness of the plants, which is a big disadvantage of this planting method. Broadcasted soybeans are not the ideal, but a very quick method to sow large areas of soybeans in a very short time. It is however very seed consuming because less than 70% of seed that is planted will eventually emerge.